What's up my beautiful people? It's Courtney and today I'm back with another YouTuber tested out video and today I'm doing Sarah's Beauty Corner which you guys have been requesting like crazy. So definitely make sure to let me know in the comments down below what YouTuber you'd like me to test out next and I'm gonna link all the ones that I've previously done in the description box because sometimes I get a lot a lot of comments for people I've already done. So I want to do something a little fun and different today before we get into the video and if you follow me on Instagram today or if you're already following me and you interact with me go ahead and spam my Instagram with likes, comments, and I'm gonna spam yours right back and check it out, leave you all kinds of comments and likes. And I think that's also gonna be a great way for me to put a lot of names with faces, and I'm really excited. So the day this video goes up is when I'm gonna be doing that. So definitely come on over to my Instagram and say, anyways, let's go on over to my little workstation and get started with this video. Okay, first up, we're trying out this DIY lava lamp. So I'm taking a glass jar like this, and what she did was first she poured in the oil. So she said you could take any kind of oil. I'm using canola. Just finish this bottle up, why don't we? And then I'm gonna add in some water. So I feel like I'm gonna make a mess. Oh, there we go. Now these two should separate, which they did. The oil is gonna be on top and then the water on the bottom. I wanna make like a red lava lamp because that's the color I had when I was little. So I'm gonna add in a couple drops. I think now all I do is put in some kind of a fizzing tablet. These are Alka-Seltzer. All right, I'm hoping I did this right and I'm just gonna drop this in. My color doesn't look too good. I don't remember if I need to stir this. We'll see. Is it gonna go? That looks cool. Mine isn't making like a lava lamp though. Oh, there we go, it's working now. You just have to give it some time and then it starts doing its thing. My problem was I used a little too much water. I think you want most of this to be oil because the oil part is what's the lava lamp part. That was really cool. The only thing is I wish it lasted longer. It only lasts the amount of time it takes for a Alka-Seltzer to uh, go off. Hope I don't get sick anytime soon. That second one worked a lot faster. Oh my gosh, the whole thing is turning red. <laughs> Ooh, I bet that tastes awful. For this next DIY, we're gonna attempt some colorful pasta. So you're just gonna cook the pasta as per usual. I'm just using basic straight spaghetti. Uh, you could use any kind of pasta you want though. And once you drain it, you wanna put it in some bowls with food coloring. Now I wanted my colors to be bold. So I'm using about seven to eight drops of food coloring in each bowl. And then you're just gonna let your noodles sit in each bowl. You could do one colors. I just wanted to do a bunch of fun colors. So I'm just gonna let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. The longer, the more vibrant they're gonna be. I found it worked best to just kind of check as you go and once they're the color you want go ahead and drain them out and you do want to make sure you rinse them because some of the food coloring like does come off obviously you want to get all that excess color off and then you have this crazy beautiful colorful pasta and it tastes the exact same as regular pasta I promise you guys I've tested it for you um, but I think this is a really cool and I give this one a big thumbs up. This next DIY, we're gonna use this potato stamper. So I'm just cutting a potato in half and then in half again, and we're gonna do a watermelon one like Sarah did in her video. And then I'm also gonna do a triangle shaped stamp, which I had a little bit of trouble cutting this. I don't know why I just didn't cut it all the way through. Um, but then once I cut the triangle shape, I would just cut down a little bit and kind of make like a triangle wedge. Hopefully that makes sense. But then I was left with this triangle. Um, again, looking back, I don't know why I didn't just cut it completely through it would have worked just as well and cut easier um, but then I'm taking some acrylic paint and then just painting the wedge of the potato and like I said for this one I'm gonna do a watermelon like she did I thought it looked super super cute and I've never done potato stamps before but I was so impressed with how well these turned out and you could actually get about three to four stamps with each like layer of paint you do and I like it because you could get some bold colors and then it kind of gradually gets softer and faded out um, it looks really cute and tumblery I feel like um, then I'm just adding some green paint around the edges this was kind of like the trickiest part um, besides the stamping that was easy um, but then I just went in and freehanded like the little rind and then added in some seeds as well to make it look like a legit watermelon 
For the triangle one, I wanted to do like that popular triangle black and white print that you see everywhere, but I wanted to do like a little ombre effect. So when I first painted the potato, I would do it on the one side, and as it started to get lighter, I would stamp it on the other to give me kind of like an ombre effect. And I really, really love how this one came out. I think it looks so pretty and cute. And I love both of these. This is such a fun way to like paint and stamp and I just think it's so fun and you can get so creative and I've never done it before so I give this one another huge thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and if you missed my last videos you can go ahead and click on over to the side of me and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Don't forget to also let me know in the comments who you want to see me do next because you guys are how I choose these videos and you could be featured in my next video as well. Alright so I'll talk to you guys later and hope you all have an amazing week. Bye!